All right, today I'm going to demonstrate how I've been doing manual brew on my Pico C by taking a five gallon kit and dividing it into four equal parts and then using the manual brew cycle. So I'm not gonna get into the details of measuring out the ingredients, but I will say that my five gallon kit had all of the ingredients that I needed. I purchased this uh, very sensitive digital scale on Amazon for like 15 bucks. I took the packs that came with the kit. There were two, two different types of hops, which is German tradition and Chez Saz, or however you say it, don't know, don't care. And once I've measured those out, I created, using the manual brew kit, I created two um, hops sacks. One labeled number one, one number two, and those are for the two additions that we'll be doing during this brew. And then the grain I took and measured out to get basically a fourth of the kit. So those are all measured out. I'm not gonna get into those details. If you can't measure ingredients, probably shouldn't be brewing, right? Okay. I also purchased on Amazon a refractometer so I can check the OG of my wart if I need to. Once I've done a couple runs, I'm probably not gonna use that that much anymore. And then I have all my equipment. I have my Pico C, I have my um, step filter with cover, and I have my brew keg. So the keg we're not gonna use until we're ready to transfer the wort for fermentation when you do a manual brew. So I'll be back in a sec and we'll get into the setup. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the brewing. So I went to the um, brew crafter online. I took the ingredients or the closest I could find to the ingredients that came with my ingredient kit, divided them into four equal sections as I mentioned earlier, and now I've printed out the manual brew instructions from the brew crafter. So I'm gonna kind of skip over all of these measurement notations and we're gonna get right into the manual manual brew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the, following their instructions, I'm gonna take the step filter and I'm going to place the um, hops cradle and I like to place it in this orientation so it kinda catches on that, uh, this feature and then lays over that port so it doesn't get clogged. We're gonna place the grain bag into the step filter over the hops cradle, making sure no loose strings can be sucked into the drain port. So I'm gonna take my pre-measured grain in the brew bag. I'm gonna dump all of these little fines in there as well, because I'm sure they add to the flavor. And I'm gonna orient this so that the strings are not gonna come anywhere near close to that port. And I might even lay it in this orientation so they can't so they're kind of pinned down. All right. It's going to tell me to measure out five liters of water and pour into the step filter over the green bag. So what I'm going to do is use my keg and I'm going to take my nice fresh Walpole, New Hampshire spring water. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about four and a half liters of water. I'm not going to take it all the way up to the fill line. I'm going to take it halfway between the four and the fill line. And the reason being is I've seen some notations online where people have done manual brews and their OG came out on the low side. So what I'm going to do is err in my favor and I'm going to use less water. And I am on this run going to check my OG when the ward is done. And if it is high, because I use less water, I'm just gonna add some boiling water to the wort before I cool it down, or start the cool down process. So here we up on four liters. And I'm gonna wait to about halfway between the four and the fill line, as I mentioned. All right, good enough. So now I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna pour it over the grain as instructed. And next step, it tells me to insert the step filter and lid into the Pico C. So I'm going to take the, the lid and 
those of you that have slightly older machines have a different lid. I just got my machine about three weeks ago and it comes with this new TPU or silicone type lid. So I'm going to place that into the Pico C. And now it's going to tell me to fill the reservoir with water. So I'm going to fill the reservoir as I mentioned. I think you're usually supposed to put like two liters. I'm just going to fill it up about halfway and I'll check it halfway through the brew, make sure I don't have to add more. Replace the lid. Make sure our hoses are firmly attached. Um, so it's telling me on these custom directions based on my brew craft or recipe to fill a reservoir, start manual brew. So I'm going to go to the control panel. I'm going to go to manual brew. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to tell me, it's going to give me directions. So it's telling me to connect the hoses together, which I have done. Just hang them on the edge there. Next step, fill step filter with five liters of water. I used four and a half for this run. Insert step filter and lid. Okay, I already did that. So now it's loading. And, it, and now I'm going to, according to this, I'm going to start the manual brew. So I'm going to hit enter. It's priming the steam generator. And this is going to take a couple minutes, so what I'll do is I'll pause this and come back when it's done. Okay, so I think my camera shut off while I was going through some of the steps, so what I'm going to do is kind of recap. So I'm not sure where it left off. So I have added the grains to the step filter. I added four and a half liters instead of five to make sure my OG is going to be good in the end. And I'll just add boiling water if I need to to bring the OG up before I cool it down and use and start fermentation or start fermentation. Um, I've added the grain bag. I made sure that the step filter or the the hops separator was in a place where it's not going to clog the port put the bag in, I put the strings along the front to make sure they don't get sucked into the um, filter system. I've filled the top reservoir. I made sure that my lines are connected and now it's asking me for the next step is to go to um, brewing the mash. So I'm going to set I'm going to set a target temp and on this recipe I'm going to set it to 147. Hit enter and it's going to ask me for the whole time which is going to be 60 minutes. So I'm going to set the whole time 60 minutes and I'm going to hit enter and then start step. And what this is going to do is it's going to start the um, steam generator to heat up the temperature as you can see here it's starting out at 73 degrees and it has a target of 147. That's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause this, and I'll come back when the heating step is done, and I have to take do another manual step. Okay, so it's gotten up to temperature, as we can see here. Current temperature is meeting the target temperature, and now it started the 30-minute hold for the mash, and actually, all of this corresponds to the ingredients that came with the five-gallon kit. So I skipped the traditional multi-step, went to the single infusion, it's a little bit easier. And so now we're at 147, we're going to let that set for 60 minutes. It's just going to keep recycling. And if I can, I don't think I can get a good shot at it, but you can see in the back, or if you could see, what happens is the pumping system is pumping the water from here around the grains up through and dropping it down in the center on top of the grains at the correct temperature. It's going to go through that process for the 60 minutes that's specified and then the next step will be to take out the grains, drain them, 
get it back up to um, get it up to a boiling temperature of 203 and add the first hops addition. So we'll go over that when it comes out. Okay, so we finished the first hour of the brew cycle. And what we're going to do now is remove the step filter from the Pico, remove the grain bag from the step filter, set in a container to drain, and pour the, con the drained wort back into the step filter. So we're going to take this out carefully. It's hot, so got to be very careful. And what we're going to do is take the cover off. are going to, I'm going to use some tongs here, so we're going to lift this bag out, let it drain as much as I can, as hot as it is, transfer it over to a colander in a bowl. So I'm going to let that drain. They say you're not supposed to squeeze the bag, I'll push it a little bit. and. So we're going to let that drain for a few minutes. I'm going to leave the hops cradle in here to help block any of the hops bags from getting into the pumping system. And what I'm going to do is take this colander and drain as much of that precious wart out as I can. And I'm going to dump it back. Oh out of here. So I'm going to not completely follow the directions. I'm going to push down on this just a tad, speed up the draining process. And I like to tilt this around, let all the little pockets drain out. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to continue doing that until that, until the grain bag is fully drained, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've drained it as much as I can for now. I'm going to continue to let that grain bag drain, and I'm going to put this back into the Pico. And following the directions, I'm going to... Oop, I forgot to put the lid back on. Probably not completely necessary at this step, but that's fine. And remember, using sterilized equipment is not that important at this step because we're still going to boil this wort, so it's going to get sanitized during the boil. Okay, so we're in step this, inserted the step filter back into the Pico. We're going to set the target temperature at 203. I'm going to hit enter. And then the whole time is going to be zero minutes. And that's just to get it up to temperature. And then we're going to add the first hops pack. So I'm going to hit enter. And what that's going to do, and I'm going to hit enter again. It's going to start recirculating the wart. It's going to activate the steam generator and it's going to get this wart up to 203 degrees and then we'll be back. <laughs> 